20 years have passed since a cataclysmic disaster known as the Shift transformed the Earth. This planet, once a paradise for human beings and animals alike, has become a nightmare. A swirling vortex of storms, fires and eruptions that threatens to devour what little life remains. And yet, life does remain. Animals, certain indefatigable species, have proven themselves able to adapt in ways that humans could not. species is the sugar glider, a small marsupial unusually adept at navigating this new and treacherous environment. Sugar gliders, like all life on Earth, now balance on the brink of extinction. Their still beating hearts offer us glimmers of hope, proof that no matter the challenge, life can always find a way. Powerful familial bonds. Adults and their offspring protect and nurture each other and cooperate in ways that enhance their chances of survival. But no amount of cooperation can avert some disasters. And where there is life, there is hope. This young family of sugar gliders is living on hope. With their nest destroyed and their father cruelly taken, they'll need every ounce of it to brave the dangers of the wild in search of a new home. Young gliders, or joeys, sometimes remain with their mothers until they are 10 months old. At only six months, our young glider will need more time at his mother's side to learn the ropes. Every step forward for this Joey is a step into the unknown. His mother and baby sister are the only constants in his life. And his mother has the knowledge and wisdom that come with age. He'll have to follow her closely. He's still young and has much to learn. Sugar gliders are tree-born animals. Out of their element on the forest floor, this plucky youngster must stay alert and find ways to strengthen himself for the arduous journey ahead. Mushrooms and other succulent plant life not only offer nourishment to the sugar glider, but a path to follow. For where plants thrive, other forms of life can thrive as well. Jumping, a precursor to gliding, keeps the glider nimble and strong. 
skills he'll need if he's to survive this quickly changing environment. of the notorious Black Widow. The glider must master every skill in his arsenal to thrive. And one of his most notable attributes is gliding. He cannot survive without acquiring this primary skill. But to glide, He'll need strength, and strength comes from food. The forest floor, despite its dangers, also provides. Plump cloudberries fruit are chock full of nutrients and tasty too. This is Saviour Island, one of only a handful of ecosystems that remain. Its dense forests would once have offered cover and comfort to this young sugar glider, but no longer. The island is now a deadly war zone of competing species. The sugar glider feels most at home in the trees, and for good reason. The glider's whole body is adapted for the high life of the forest canopy. Opposable thumbs on his hind feet allow him to clasp branches and perform wonderful feats of acrobatics. With his gliding membrane, he can defy gravity itself and float on the air like a piece of paper, at least in theory. An excellent first attempt. The young glider has soared successfully from one of the island's trees to another, despite the dizzying drop in between. But the energy extended in this first glide has left him famished. Perhaps it's time to stop for a snack. A delicious meal. There's nothing like a successful hunt to put the spring back in your step. The sugar glider forges ahead with a new vigor. The glider has ventured close to the cliff's edge. The winds here are harsh. One wrong move could send him tumbling into the waters below. And because gliders can't swim, this would be a deadly mistake.
The terrain is rocky and inhospitable. Nothing like the smooth tree trunks and sturdy branches the sugar glider is used to. Crags, steep slopes and sudden gaps in the earth present a treacherous challenge. Up ahead, a scorpion. This creepy crawler wields a dangerous weapon, a toxic stinger that could kill the glider with a single jab. And this striking fiend won't let the glider go without a fight. This gutsy Joey has a battle on his hands. Done it. The sugar glider reigns victorious, a testament to his rapidly developing skills. With a newfound confidence, he pushes forward toward the next challenge. Sugar gliders have powerful instincts that can alert them not only to the presence of predators, but to the safest paths forward. But instincts are useless if they're ignored. The glider must learn how and when to listen to these inner nudges. Finely honed instincts could mean the difference between life and death. cry was uttered by a bearded vulture, a massive bird that could crush the shoot. <laughs> the young glider must stay as close to his mother as he can. At her age, she knows all the best hiding spots, and the inexperienced Joey will need all the help he can get. The vulture is a formidable opponent and won't be easily deterred. The vulture is aware of movement on the ground. It could spot the glider at any moment. Our Joey must remain quiet and hidden if he's to survive.
narrowly avoiding the vulture, the sugar glider can breathe a sigh of relief. For now, a wooded area. The presence of trees makes the gliders feel at home. But now is not the time to retreat into the safety of high branches. It is morning, and the sugar glider and his family are hungry. They'll need sustenance before they can Lizards. continue on their a way. Perfect meal for this family of gliders on the go. The Joey takes cues from his mother, who uses stealth and speed to stalk these tasty treats. A lizard is in the glider's sights. He must tread lightly. These satiated and energized, and they look. the glider is ready for the journey ahead. But his mother and sister haven't been so successful. Our Joey mustn't give up the hunt. Not until his family is as full and fed as he is. He's done it. This wriggling lizard will make a fine meal for his mother and sister. in the distance. The glider must move quickly to avoid being caught in its rages. swinging branch attached precariously to a vine. For most animals, this obstacle would be impossible to bypass. A fall from this height would be fatal and not worth the risk. But the sugar glider is a masterful acrobat and light on his feet. He may succeed here where others would undoubtedly fail. giant skeleton once belonged to a whale. The glider has never seen such a thing, and there's no reason he should have. But, sadly, the presence of this decomposed carcass so far inland is no mystery. Seismic changes, likely a tsunami caused by the shift, no doubt deposited this unfortunate creature onto the island. The poor beast perished here. Unable to return Unaware to its of the mystery home. surrounding his existence. What remains a mystery the glider is how sugar glider taking in the strange sights and smells have managed By to necessity, survive the Earth's Our upheaval. glider is active Once during the day, have they are usually nocturnal. He'll have to use every instinct available to him to survive this strange and hostile landscape.
This poisonous plant is a member. The clever glider turns a log into a vessel. A little innovation goes a long way on this island. nest. But what hides inside those gently swaying grasses? A cluster of spiders attacks. With their superior numbers, they could easily overwhelm the sugar gliders. Insect and arachnid populations have risen precipitously since the shift. The Many sugar glider animals and avian the species that would have kept their nose on a control have been Fortunate wiped out. This hardy youngster has the strength to survive this mistake. After some brief unpleasantness, he'll recover. Lesson learned. Aggressive arachnids in competition for their own survival are an ever-present menace to sugar gliders and other small animals on the island. This spot isn't perfect, but good enough. Mother is showing signs that she's been bitten by a poisonous spider. The young glider, aware of his mother's predicament, heads back into the wild in search of food that may help her restore her strength. open air of the forest. But to get there, the gliders will have to navigate this treacherous gorge. Butterflies, a feast for the eyes as well as the stomach. These fluttering insects will make a hearty meal for our young glider.
Remarkably, the glider catches butterflies but does not eat them. Instead, he stores them for later. Extraordinary. The glider has fed the butterflies to his mother, who now appears to be recovering from her spider bite. There is no reason a butterfly should provide an antidote for spider venom, and yet it appears to have done so. Is it possible the nectar or pollen the butterflies have been feeding on contains some hidden properties we are as yet unaware of? And how did the sugar glider know that this antidote would do the trick? the open air of the forest. But to get there, the gliders will have to navigate this treacherous gorge. Mm. 